Uh, let's move on here with our probability. There is another table that we use to, in, in, in probability called the contingency table. Others, they refer to this table as a, a two-way table. Uh, this was taken in November 2014, it was question 11. A survey concerning their holiday preferences were done with 180 staff members. So the super total of these staff members is 180. And you'll always see it here. We call this the super total. Because when I add this way, I must get this 180. And when I add this way, I must get the same 180. So we refer to that as our super total. You'll see that there are spaces in between. One question might be required to find those. It should be easy to do those grade 8, grade 9 stuff. If you look at the total that wants to go to the coast is 98. But we've got 46 males, then how many females? It is easy to calculate the females. You'll say 98 uh, minus 46. Minus 46 in this case, which will be 52. So the value here is 52. Right, that's how you go about finding that 52. Then how do you find this one, the male that will prefer to go home? They had three different preferences. Others will prefer to go on holiday on the coast. Others want to go to, to visit the game park. Others wanted just to go home and rest there. Right. If I add all this, this must be the total. So what is it that we are missing there? So the answer would be 83 minus 24 minus 46. What am I getting? Am I getting 13? Yes, it's 13. Because this plus this must also give me 20 there. So it is 13. It is much more easier that way. In the very same way, you can find this value here. You just add those two. This is 24 plus 38. What am I getting? 62. Now that my contingency table is complete, I can go on and do some problems with it. The actual question, oh, there's something missing there. 180 minus what will give me 183? 180 minus 83. What is it giving me? 97. This should be 97. And when I add it, it this way, I must get the very same answer, which is 97. Right, determine the probability that a randomly selected, selected staff member is a male. We want to check the probability of a male. Where is male? This is a male. Determine the probability that a randomly, a randomly selected staff member is a male. So we're just looking for the probability of a male. Others will just use M there for male. It is equals to. Uh, remember the de definition of probability. How many males do we have? Probability of a male are, uh, this is 83. 83 over how many uh, staff employees over super total, which is 180. You can write this in decimal form. The f that one was 83 over 180, which gives me 0 0.46. Remember that your probability is always between 0 and 1. You'll never get it above 1 or a negative 1. So this is the probability of male. Number 2. Uh, determine the probability that a randomly selected staff member does not prepare visiting game. There are those that prepare visiting game, there are those that does not prepare visiting game. Th they complement each other. These are complementary events. The probability of those that prepares, prefers to visit game plus the probability of those that does not prefer to, prefer to visit the game is equal to 1. Like we did in this one. The probability of A plus the probability of not A is equal to 1. If you are looking for the probability of not A, it will be 1 minus probability of A. What is the question here? Determine the probability that a randomly selected staff member does not prefer visiting a game park. We want who does not prefer, prefer visiting a game park. We know that those that prefer probability of a game park plus probability 
of not a game park is equal to one. This simply means not. And what is it that you are looking for? Does not prepare for visiting game park. This is what we are looking for. So the probability of does not prefer game park, it will be one minus game park. Let's write that down for this one. Probability of not a game park. This sign simply means not will be equals to 1 minus the probability of visiting a game park. Right, this is what we're looking for. So we need to work on that other one. So the probability of not visiting game park will be equals to 1 minus. What is the probability of visiting a game park? Let's look at it. Ah, this is where the game park is. This is the total over super total. So it will be 1 minus a game park is 68, I mean 62, over this 180. Then the probability of a not visiting a game park will be the total of that one. Uh, if you work it out, uh, the probability of not visiting a, visiting a game park, 1 minus 62 over 180, which will give us 0 0.66. Right, that was 11.2. Uh, I, I want us to go to the third prop to 11.2. This question says, are the events of being male and staying at home independent events? Motivate your answer with a relevant uh, calculation. I go to my events. When we talk of independent events, this become my key. Are the events being male and staying at home independent events? Right, that is, that, that is the key word there. And I know that for independent events, probability of A and B must exactly be equal to probability of A times probability of B. If they, these two are not the same, then the events will not be independent. Right, so for, for, for independent events, I know that probability of A and B product rule is equal to probability of A times probability of B. But today we are not talking about A and B. We are talking about male and staying at home. Maybe you are going to make A male and will make B home. Set A will be male OB will be staying at home. Let's just call it home. Right, these are the two events that we are dealing with, of being male and staying at home. Uh, are these events being male and staying at home independent events? They will only be ind independent events if this part is exactly as that other part. If probability of A and B is equal to probability of A times probability of B. Let's check those two. So in other words, I've got to find the probability of A and B. What is it that gives me? Probability of A and B, probability of male and, and home and H. What does it give me? Probability of male and home. Let's, let's work on that. This is equals to uh, where is male? Well, this is male and staying at home it's 13 so that probability it's the events divided by the number of outcome possible outcome which is 180 so it's going to be 13 over 180 what does this give us? remember I'm taking the left hand side for now I'm working on the left hand side and see what I get. After that, I'll work on the right hand side and see what I get. If what I'm getting is this exactly the same, then the two events will be independent. If not, the two events will not be independent. Uh, 13 over 180, if you do 13 over 180 there, you will get 0, 0,072. 0, 0,072. That's the first solution that we get. Number two, let's work on this other part now. The probability 
of a terms are uh, not let me not use a now let me use the probability of male probability of male times uh, the probability uh, of uh, home probability of m and home what does this give us probability of male let me go to male the total male is 83 over 180 this will be 83 over 180 times the probability of home probability of home home is 20 over 180 yes it's 20 over 180 then the, the answer would be uh, we've just said the probability of uh, yes which will give us 0 0.512 this gives us 0, 0,512. Now let me look at the two. Is this solution the same as that solution? No, they are not the same. Then you make your conclusion. Therefore, therefore, are the events of therefore being male and staying at home are not independent events. Don't forget to write the conclusion. Because oh we can say probability of 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 uh, of male and uh, home is not equals to the probability of male times probability of male since these two are not equal therefore not independent events All right. that's how you use the word independent you need to compare these two if they give us the same thing if not then they are not independent events